don't know what happened there. Welcome to Tiafo Garage, where we try it and find out. On this channel, we feature DIY on some classic cars. We also chronicle the classic car ownership experience here in the San Francisco Bay Area in California. Tiafo Garage. Today we are going to make a small adjustment on the stabilizer bar, anti-roll bar that we have here. This is the anti-roll bar. It's actually the low point on the, underneath the car. It's about two and a quarter inches. It's adjustable, you can do this location, this location. What I wanna see if I can do is loosen this and reduce the length of that linkage and do the same on the other side so that it's doing the same job, but it's higher up. Well, this is happens to be an 11 millimeter flat there. And on the other side is 13 millimeter nut. So not 13, not maybe 12. Uh, so it is 13, so we'll get that on there. easy to do and a lot of before I do the other side I actually want to confirm that I can raise this shorter okay this is a 12 millimeter this is 13 millimeter we've got our 12 right here I don't know what happened there these are aftermarket so you uh, never know, but it, as it turns out, these are actually English. The bottom one is 7 16 and the top one is half inch. Okay. Yeah, much better. We'll leave that be and work on the other side. Here we are on the other side. Go. So of course, nothing goes as planned. When I took the nut out and then tried to put it back on after I adjusted everything, it's um, stripped. So I gotta find out what that thread is. I'm gonna use this uh, tool from my carbon steel tap and die set SAE to check the thread. And 516.24 is a standard thread, and I'm gonna go by a couple. Oh, that is perfect. That is going on very smoothly. Okay, so now we have about three inches. That gained a full three quarter inch of clearance, which is a lot. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. And if you enjoy this type of content, please do like, share, and subscribe. It will help the channel. And we will see you next time on Tiafo Garage.